Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. Today is going to be a quick look at a workflow that I recently set up for myself to capture thoughts and add them to Apple notes lists, but using drafts to capture the text and shortcuts to select a note to add it to from a list. Now, the reason I set this up is because all of my text starts its life in drafts. It's kind of muscle memory for me, and it's so easy to just tap a button within the app and then send the text to a different app of my choice. And as Apple Notes has improved so much recently, I've actually moved a lot of my living notes into Apple Notes away from Obsidian. So today I'll show you how I take a thought from my head and put it into a specific Apple Notes list with as little friction as possible. Okay, so there's a few stages to this. And first of all, I want to introduce you to this action. Now, getting items into Apple Notes from drafts has always been problematic due to API limitations and integration issues. However, Apple Shortcuts, of course, has great interaction with Apple Notes. So what we have here is a link to an Apple Shortcut that allows drafts to call another Apple Shortcut as an action and then send the text directly to Notes. It'll all become clear, I promise, as we work through this. Now, the links here will be in the show description, but I'm going to tap on this one here. It opens up Apple Shortcuts and shows the shortcut there. You can tap on the shortcut if you'd like here to get some more information. And this is what the shortcut's going to do. It's going to get a list of all shortcuts that you've set up. Then you can choose one. And Drafts is going to create an action that directly links to that shortcut. A little bit like a bridge. It's pretty clever. I'll tap Done. And you're going to tap Add Shortcut to add it. But I'm not going to do that because if I come into all shortcuts here, you can see that I've already got it added. 